Hey guys! Welcome back to She's Diabetic! For those of you who are new here, my name is Andrea. I have been a type 1 diabetic for over 16 years and this is just like a diabetes lifestyle, bit of hacks, bit of review information, all that sort of thing. So welcome! Today I'm going to be talking about the Dexcom G6. I've been on it solidly for the last month and now I'm going to give you my thoughts and feelings and opinions and let you know what my experience has been like. Before I start I want to flag that if you've come here for a specific topic and you don't want to trundle through the whole video, it's cool, I got you covered. I'm time stamping all the bullet pointed topics that I'm covering down below. So if for example you're just looking for accuracy, go down into the description box and I will have the accuracy section of this video time coded. Otherwise, let's go! To begin, was there pain in the insertion? I cannot say that I experienced pain in the insertion. Sometimes I was aware of the needle going in and the sensor being introduced, but I wouldn't call it pain. My very first sensor, and I've applied three now, I didn't feel at all, like at all, at all, at all. And I caught that on camera actually, which I may insert now. One, two, three, hope it doesn't hurt. Okay, let's just talk about this for a second. I did not feel that at all. Like that didn't even feel like anything. I'm quite amazed by that actually. So that clip that you just saw was from my unboxing and insertion video, which I will link somewhere up there, wherever it goes. <laughs> so yeah, I can't say I felt really any pain during insertion. Awareness, yes, but I wouldn't equate awareness to pain. And that being said, the insertion process was extremely easy. They have updated it from G5 to G6. This is the new inserter. So it's very, very easy. All you do is pop it against the skin, push that button, it's automatically introduced, and all you have to do is then take it off and away you go. Basically if you know how to put this up against something and push a button, you are a master. <laughs> so once the sensor's on and the transmitter is clipped in, how aware am I of the system? Not very at all. At first I was aware of it because I was excited sort of to have something new on me and I'd also never worn a CGM on my stomach. Before this I came from the Freestyle Libre which I wore on the back of my arm and I was a little bit hesitant about the Dexcom because I was like mm, how am I gonna like having something on my stomach because for some reason the idea of it being on the stomach to me before was like oh it's gonna be like more in my eye line, I'm gonna be more aware of it, maybe you can see it like when you're wearing a tight top through it or something, but I was very very surprised actually at just how unaware I actually was of it. The other thing that really played into my lack of awareness was that it's so slim, the profile is so so slim. Again this is I know something they've updated from the G5 to the G6 and I will insert a few clips here showing just how flat it lays against your skin really. I have actually measured it and taken a measuring tape to the device as it sits on my stomach and it doesn't even stand up off the stomach a full centimeter. That is tiny and therefore my awareness of the system was little to be honest with you because it is so little. And following on from that, another factor that can be at play when we're talking awareness of the sensor is how well it stays on. And here I have a slight issue. I was not able to get the full 10 day wear out of the system with just the adhesive that is provided on the actual sensor. I needed to use other adhesive aids to keep it on me. Now I'm a very active person, I work out practically every day and I love a bath. I'm sure those two things don't really aid in the stickage of the unit. So what did I do? I took the opportunity to express myself in sticker form. This is the only way to go. I ordered some pump peels and these are them. So what these are are just like stickers that sit over top of the sensor and transmitter and just keep everything down. I was introducing those pump peels at about day seven. So day seven was the day when I was like oh boy this is coming off if I don't intervene and therefore I obviously intervened because I didn't want it to come off. That kept it on for the full 10 day wear. So let's break down some numbers. The cost of the Dexcom G6 system comprises of two parts, a la carte, no coverage, yada yada yada, and this is in the UK. One sensor is 5125 and one transmitter is 200 pounds. Sensor lasts 10 days, transmitter lasts 90 days. So 5125 every 10 days, 
200 pounds every 90 days. However, if you are sure you love the Dexcom G6 system, you're sure you want to wear it 100% of the time for a full year, you can get onto their subscribe and save plan, which is 159 pounds per month. And that gives you everything you need to wear the Dexcom G6 full time. So these avenues of getting into the system, 159 pounds a month for their subscribe and save plan, or you can buy piece by piece by piece, like I said, and that works out to 220 pounds and 42 pence per month. So as you can see, if you're really sure you want to be on the system and you're like, gimme gimme, I think it's a no brainer and you go for the subscribe and save plan. And to break it down even further so you guys just really get an idea of it, on the subscribe and save plan, that's costing you five pounds and 30 pence per day. And when you're buying it piece by piece a la carte, that's costing you seven pounds and 35 pence per day. The choice is yours. I'm just breaking down the numbers for you. And I'm sort of waiting for someone to deliver my mathematician diploma to me because I'm, I'm pretty sure I just became a mathematician. Because all these numbers you see had to break them down. So let's talk ease of use. For me, I found it extremely easy. From the insertion, to the actual downloading of the app, to the viewing the app, getting the information, setting it up, setting up my preferences, all that sort of thing. I found it really, really, really easy to use. And not just easy to use, a pleasure to interact with the system. I really enjoy like visually being presented with information that's instinctual for me to interact with. That's why I really, really have enjoyed using the app and the Dexcom Clarity system because I've just been able to sort of easily digest the information. And because I've been able to easily digest the information, it's allowed me to easily make changes to my bolus and my basal rates, all that sort of thing. So in terms of the ease of interacting with the system, big, big thumbs up from me. Two hour warm up on the Dexcom G6. So once you introduce it, you do have to wait two hours until you can get your first readings. That's not that long for information that's going to save my life. I will, um, I think I can wait that long. And oh yeah, by the way, no finger sticks, no finger sticks, no calibrations. So in terms of ease of use, uh, it doesn't get much easier than um, not having to do anything for information. Yeah, I don't think it gets much easier than that. And now to bring it home, let's talk about the biggie accuracy. This is why I'm sitting here today making this video because I have been so astounded and so impressed by the Dexcom G6 accuracy that I'm like, I want to talk about it. I want to discuss how amazing this system is because the accuracy is second to none from my experience. I wanted to try this system because I'd heard so many people raving about the accuracy. My dad is actually on the G5. He's been a type one diabetic for over 60 years and he was raving about the accuracy. And so I'm like, this is like, I gotta try this out. Like, what is the deal here? And that's why I initially came to the system and bought the introduction pack because I was like, I want to see what everybody's talking about and see if it would work for me. And indeed, indeed it has. And I'm just like so happy to report that because this is it. This is what I expect from a CGM and Dexcom is delivering it in spades. I'm going to insert a bunch of pictures I took really randomly throughout this past month of wear and you can see how these numbers are matching up. It's just like time and time and time and time again. I don't think I've ever had a finger stick reading that's been more than 1.5 millimoles per liter off. Hello. It's just, that's actually incredible to me. But at the same time, I'm like, that's what I want out of my CGM. That's exactly what I want. And, and honestly, what I expect out of my CGM, because what's the point of this technology if it's delivering you incorrect numbers? You can't trust it then. And man, I just, I've grown in my trust for it. At first I was like, whoa, no calibration, no finger sticks. Hang on a minute. I'm going to need to be doing those because I want to know that I can trust this system. But after the first six, seven days, I just let my glucose meter go ahead and sit in the corner and collect dust because I was like, oh, hello, this is working real good. <laughs> and I've been on the Freestyle Libre before and I thought I was making adjustments pretty well with that. But now that I've been introduced and been on this system for a month, I'm like, 
really realizing the value of having that information pushed to you and the value of the alarms. The low alarm has woken me up several times in the night, so that's annoying <laughs> for sleep, but it's not annoying for, you know, saving your life. I'll take it. I'm almost certain I was experiencing overnight lows before, but I wasn't waking up for them and I wasn't obviously being woken up for them because I wasn't on a CGM that sent me alerts and alarms and sounded when things were going wrong. And this does that. For me, the Dexcom G6 is like one, accuracy, spot on, two, no calibration, no finger sticks. So that makes it really easy and, you know, just <laughs> simple. This combination is just, ah, it's so exciting to me. Finally, this is what I was after. This is the information that I wanted. I think as a diabetic, sometimes control feels relative. Like, oh yeah, I've had an okay day of blood sugars. I think today's felt good. You know, there's a lot of like feelings you have to rely on as a diabetic. And the G6 I found took away that need for like, how do I feel? Where am I at? Uh, should I take a blood sugar? It just took all that away and I just opened the app up on my phone, checked it out and acted accordingly. It's really as simple as that. It just has, has brought this kind of structure into the way I treat my type one diabetes, which I'm like so obsessed with because sometimes as a diabetic, it's really difficult to find structure. Everything affects your blood sugar. And sometimes there doesn't seem any rhyme or reason to it. So to have something that's giving me like proper information that I know I can trust and I know is accurate has just been, <sighs> yeah, it's just been incredible for me. If you can't tell already, would I recommend the system? Yeah, I would. 100%. It really has worked for me and I'm just like, yes. So there we have it. That is my experience after one month on the Dexcom G6. If you guys are on a CGM or maybe you're trying out the Dexcom G6 or maybe you've been on the Dexcom system for a while, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your experience has been. And also if I haven't answered any questions that you're interested in getting answered about the Dexcom G6 system, let me know. I will meet you down there and uh, we can all chat it up and yeah. As always, I'm wishing you guys a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Great, great blood sugars, but most of all, a happy, healthy mind with it all. Thanks guys, see you next time.